At the community pool, McGrady's manager puts up a notice stating that they will be closed for the holiday weekend. At this time, a girl named Bree swims in the pool and takes a break to check her blood glucose levels and removes her diamond ring before returning to the pool. Her sister Jonah is sitting in her car in the parking lot. She can't decide whether or not to go into the pool. But after a short time of thinking, she leaves her phone in the glove compartment and enters the building. The girl puts on her bathing suit and approaches her sister. Bree is happy to see her sister, since they haven't seen each other in a long time. It turns out that Jonah was previously in rehab, but has been feeling well for three months. After a little chat, Jonah joins Bree in the pool. In the lost and found department, Clara, a janitor, tries to steal some money from forgotten purses. At that moment, McGrady enters the office and catches the girl in the act. The man says he is sorry for speaking well of Clara in his report to the parole officer, and also says that when she finishes her job today, she is free to go and no longer works here. The sisters are having a good time swimming together, but McGrady comes in and tells the girls to leave because the pool is closing. Jonah says the pool is open until 7 o'clock. But McGrady explains that they close early for the holiday weekend. The man also mentions that some people should learn to read the posters, to which Jonah is very offended. After getting out of the pool, the girls dry off and Bree decides to show her sister her ring, but she can't find it in her bag. Jonah looks around the pool and sees that the ring is stuck in the metal grate at the bottom of the pool. Bree dives back into the pool to retrieve the ring, but no matter how hard she tries, there is no way she can get the ring out of the bars. So Jonah also decides to jump in to help her. Since both girls are underwater and the other visitors have left the pool, McGrady, thinking that no one is left in the building, begins the process of closing the pool. Suddenly, Jonah's hair is sucked into the drain. Trying to free themselves, the girls don't notice as the cover over the pool closes. After untangling their hair, they try to surface, but it's too late, now they're trapped. Terrified, the sisters begin hitting the lid and calling for help, but Magrady has already left the building. Jonah thinks the man did it on purpose. After a moment of excitement, they decide to try to lift the cover and find out how strong it is, but of course the cover does not budge. Afterwards, Bree suggests checking all the joints to find a weak spot. Looking around, Jonah finds someone's shorts and a condensation hole in the lid. Bree manages to remove the plastic cover from one of the holes in the wall. The girl breaks it in half and tries to widen the hole in the lid. During this time, Jonah continues to make negative and sarcastic comments, and especially when Bree announces that she has married her boyfriend David. Jonah is not happy about this, and reminds Bree that she had a hard time in rehab and later got worse when she returned and didn't find her sister at home. These words lead Bree to conclude that it was her sister who threw the ring into the water. Enraged, Bree swims to the bottom of the pool and tries again to get the ring, and this time she succeeds. The girl dives out and sees Jonah trying to punch a hole in the lid with a shard of plastic and accidentally injuring her hand. Bree tells her sister that a grating from the bottom can be used to try to break the fiberglass of the lid, but she doesn't have enough strength to get it out. The girl asks her sister for help, but she doesn't agree because she thinks it makes no sense. Suddenly they hear a tune, David calling on Bree's phone. This gives Bree hope that he will soon notice that the bride is missing. Bree dives in again and unsuccessfully tries to tear off the bars. As night falls, Jonah continues to look for a weak spot in the lid. After an argument between the sisters, the phone rings again. Soon Jonah notices that something is wrong with her sister and asks her about it. Bree confesses that she was diagnosed with diabetes three years ago and needs a shot, which she left in her bag, and if she doesn't take it soon, she could go into a coma. As Clara returns to the building to finish her shift, Bree and Jonah take turns trying to saw holes in the lid. Jonah notices the burn marks on Bree's arm and says that they never discussed it, but that they should because her doctor at the rehab center advised her to do so. The girl wants to know what really happened the day their father died since she can't remember anything and knows only scraps of information her mother and Bree have told her over the years. Bree calls her father a monster and tells Jonah that he returned that night drunk and smoking a cigarette and then fell asleep in bed and caught fire. But the father didn't scream because he was so drunk that he didn't even notice that he was burning alive. Bree got burns on her hand when she tried to wake him up. 
Their conversation is suddenly interrupted when Clara enters the room. The woman hears Bree's phone start ringing again and comes closer to steal it. Our girls call for help, and Clara asks them how they got there? At this point, Clara searches Bree's purse, but stops when she notices the security cameras. Clara asks her to wait for the girls, and then goes to the control room to turn off the cameras. Then the woman approaches the pool and asks the sisters some strange questions, and then asks for the password to the girl's phone. Bree says the password, thinking she will call the police, but instead Clara teases her about the pictures and turns on David's voicemails to them. Jonah loses her patience and begins to insult the woman. Clara says she has a lot of bills to pay, since she can't get a good job after her incarceration, and if the sisters want her to get them out of that swimming pool, Bree has to give her the PIN number of her bank card. The sisters disagree at first, but Clara turns off the heater and threatens them with a cold night. So Brie has no choice but to give the woman what she wants. Clara leaves with the wallet, and the sisters snuggle up to each other to keep warm. A couple of hours later, Brie begins to really suffer from the cold. Jonah decides it's her turn to try to tear off the drainage grate, but fear prevents her from even going near it. Upon surfacing, the girl notices that Brie has fallen asleep and hurries to wake her up. Jonah admits that she didn't even swim near the drain because she got cold feet and calls herself useless. After that, her sister tries again to make a hole in the lid with a piece of plastic, but Bree thinks it is a waste of time and energy. Jonah responds, however, that she needs to move and that this is the only way to get warm. Bree pushes her to tell her about the suicide attempt, and Jonah explains that she feels as if there are monsters living inside her that are eating her. Her father abused them, and his voice never left Jonan's mind. Suddenly an eye appears in the hole in the lid, scaring the sisters. It's Clara, and she complains that Brie only has $80 in her bank account. The sisters ask her for help, and she gets angry, saying they're not special and she has problems too. Clara says she'll leave them there and leaves the room to gather her thoughts. Then Jonah gets an idea and starts sharpening a piece of plastic against the wall. When Clara returns, Jonah pretends to cry, apologizes, and wants to confess something. The girl intends to speak very quietly and so Clara puts her ear to the hole to hear her better, at which point Jonah pokes her with the shard. Furious, Clara goes to the mirror to check her wound. Then the woman goes to the control room and turns on the automatic pool cleaning system. As a result, the girls begin to suffocate from the chlorine. They try to block the nozzles with their hands and the swimming trunks they found earlier, but the flow is too strong. Bree loses consciousness for a few seconds, and Jonah tries to keep her from drowning. This incident makes Clara realize the danger of her actions. The woman takes pity on the girls and returns to the control room to turn off the cleaning system. When Clara returns, she tells the sisters that she is now in control and demands that Bree give her the ring in exchange for their freedom. Jonah asks her not to, but Brie agrees, realizing that they have no other choice. The woman gets the ring and then leaves the room saying she will let the girls out when she is ready. Brie, needing privacy, swims to the opposite side of the pool and falls asleep on the floats. The girl dreams that David has brought some firemen with him to rescue her. Waking up, her sister finds Jonah with a shard of plastic at her neck, with bad thoughts on her mind. Bree talks her out of it and promises to be there for her when it's over. Jonah apologizes and hugs her sister. At this time, Clara looks at the ring and listens to David's messages, trying to make a decision. When the woman returns to the pool, Bree tells Johnny to repeat after her. The girls say they know she's not a monster, and after all due deliberation, they decide they're going to change a lot of things in their lives from now on. Clara sympathizes with them and finally agrees to help. The woman goes to the control room and enters the code, but it doesn't work. Clara tells her sisters, and they ask her to call the police instead, but the woman is afraid of going back to jail. Clara puts Bree's bag back on the bench and leaves the building. A few more hours pass and Bree becomes very weak. Jonah dives in and tries again to tear off the drain grate. The first two attempts were unsuccessful, but she gets an idea for a third. The girl grabs shorts and wraps them around the bars of the drain grate, and she succeeds. Jonah lifts the grate to the surface, and notices that Bree is unconscious. 
Her sister gives her CPR and then hits the lid with the grate and finally manages to break it. Getting Brie out of the pool, they both get cuts from the sharp edges of the fiberglass. Brie is still unconscious, so Jonah fetches her sister's bag and looks for an insulin syringe. The girl gives Brie the shot and she finally wakes up. However, their happiness did not last long, because suddenly Clara appears in front of them and points her gun at them. The woman fears that the girls might tell the cops about her. Jonah tells her that she realizes she has lost a lot, and begs her not to do anything to Brie because it's all she has left in her life. Eventually Clara puts the gun away and returns the ring. Jonah grabs Brie's phone, then calls the police, and tells Clara to leave before they arrive. Brie then wakes up on a stretcher surrounded by nurses and her sister. Jonah returns the ring to her, and when Brie asks how she got it back, Jonah replies that they have defeated the monster. The sisters hug and the medics take them away. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think of this movie and see you in new videos.